Rocky, Alex and Manny are longtime friends who make a living out of burglary. Alex's father works in a security firm, thanks to which the guy can take duplicate keys and passwords to all the houses serviced by him. Having penetrated into another house, they agree not to take cash and collect valuables worth no more than $10,000. Otherwise, the trio could end up behind bars. The friends run away and break a window, pretending it's just hooliganism. Rocky and Manny dream to accumulate money and run away to California, but Alex is not ready to leave his father. After meeting Rawl, Manny tries to sell the loot, but the fence underestimates the price. At the same time, he gives him a tip on the house of an old man living in an abandoned area of the city. Several years ago, the military man's daughter died. And Cindy Roberts, the perpetrator, paid him a $300,000 settlement. Alex refuses to give up on the dubious schemes, because if they fail, they all face at least 10 years in prison. Rocky wants to leave and take his younger sister Diddy, escaping from her mother and her drinking boyfriend so he convinces his friend to take the gamble. After installing a surveillance camera, he learns that all the neighboring houses are empty and the police don't come to the area. The old man practically does not leave the house so he can be put to sleep and quietly robbed without fear of attracting attention. At the same time, Alex notices a new tattoo on his girlfriend's body. Ladybug is a special symbol for Rocky, giving faith in a bright, and carefree future. As a child, her father abandoned her mother, and she blamed her daughter for everything. To keep Rocky from crying, she would lock her in the trunk and go drinking at the nearest bar. One day, a ladybug flew into the crack of the trunk door, and the girl was no longer so scared and lonely. Soon the friends noticed the old man, and it turns out that he is not only lonely, but also blind. In the evening, the friends approach the house and put the Rottweiler to sleep. Once inside, it turns out that the front door has several locks and there is no way to open them without making noise. Once on the patio, they try to break in the second door, but notice a window. Taking the remote from the alarm system, Rocky reaches inside and disables the alarm. Taking off their shoes, they look around the first floor but find nothing of value. Going up to the second floor, Manny finds an old man and puts him to sleep. After searching the house, the thieves assume the money is hidden behind the only locked door. Manny shoots at the door and Alex, who has seen the gun, decides to get out. The noise causes Norman to wake up and come downstairs. Using the old man's blindness, Manny tricks him, but he accidentally steps on the lock and realizes that the door has been broken into. Norman is not intimidated by the warning shot and pounces on the guy. In the fight, the blind man kills Manny, and a terrified Rocky hides in a closet. Back in the house, Alex miraculously doesn't come face to face with Norman and hides in the bathroom, locking the door and boarding up the window. The old man goes to the closet and there opens the safe to check for money. Norman is unaware of the girl sitting behind him. Seeing the pin code as soon as he leaves, Rocky opens the safe and steals the money from there, finding out that there is not 300000 but over a million dollars. Alex finds the girl and the pair try to escape, but are confronted by Norman. Using the old man's blindness, they try not to move, but the man reacts to the sound of a cell phone and fires several shots in his direction. While Norman drags Manny's corpse away, Alex and Rocky try to escape through the basement. At the same time, the old man finds the boots and realizes that there are multiple robbers. Reaching the safe again, he discovers that he has been robbed. Going downstairs, Alex and Rocky find a chained woman with her mouth taped shut, who turns out to be Cindy Roberts. After freeing her, they break open the door leading to the street, but Norman turns out to be behind it. The blind man fires three shots, one of which wounds Alex in the ear, and the other kills Cindy. Going downstairs, Norman finds the woman's body and cries bitterly over her death. Rocky and Alex try to escape, but the old man turns off the lights so they are on equal footing. Focusing on the sound, 
he fires a few shots, after which he finds Alex and tries to strangle him. After stunning the old man, the thieves try to escape and lock him in the basement. Once upstairs, they encounter a Rottweiler and hide in a bedroom. Alex is ready to surrender to the police because their crimes are no match for what the old man is hiding. Pressing the remote control, he tries to activate the alarm, but nothing works. The windows are barred, and he tries to escape through the vent. Alex fails to hold the door open, and bursting into the room, the dog pushes him out of the window and he falls onto the roof. As she makes her way through the vent, Rocky finds herself in a tricky section, but she has to fall down because of the Rottweiler chasing her. At the same time, Alex comes to his senses, but the old man shoots through the glass, and the guy falls down, trapped again. Pursuing the thief, Norman continues to shoot, oriented on the sound, but Alex manages to trick him and knock out the revolver. The ex-military man and the guy get into a fight but Norman turns out to be stronger and easily copes with the intruder, after which he stabs him with garden shears. Waking up, Rocky tries to crawl through a vent and sees a way out, but the old man finds her and punishes her severely. Once again coming to her senses in the basement, the girl finds herself chained up. She is willing to do anything to hit the old man to let her go. Rocky understands why he kept Cindy prisoner, because she killed his daughter but no amount of abuse will help to get her back. Then Norman reveals that he was going to let Cindy go soon because she was pregnant and was going to give birth to a new child to replace his dead daughter. Now the woman is dead and Rocky will be his new incubator. After hiding Cindy and flooding him with acidic water, the old man thaws his white slurry and uses a syringe to do a division by zero. With Rocky defenseless, He's ready to pull his dirty deed, but that's when he's attacked by Alex, who Norman didn't finish off. Due to his blindness, having outsmarted the dog and tied up the old man, the pair try to escape. Alex opens the front door, and it seems that freedom is just around the corner, but at that moment, Norman shoots the guy in the back and fatally wounds him. Rocky runs outside and rejoices in her victory but the old man lets the Rottweiler out after her. The girl manages to escape and lock herself in Manny's car, but she has no keys to leave, and she dropped her money bag nearby. Making a trap out of the trunk, Rocky lures the dog and tries to lock him in. The Rottweiler chews through the upholstery, but the girl manages to put him on a chain and get out of the car. Here she is again caught by Norman and dragged back into the house. Losing all her strength and hopes for salvation, Rocky is ready to die, but notices a ladybug on her hand. Like a symbol of freedom, it points her to the remote control for the alarm system lying nearby. Setting off the alarm, Rocky disorients the old man and hits him with a crowbar. At some point, Norman falls into the open basement and accidentally shoots himself, thinking the old man dead. The girl flees the house minutes before the police arrive. Taking her younger sister into custody, Rocky decides to move to Los Angeles. At the train station, she notices a news report on TV and learns that a blind man has survived. As it turns out, he made it look like two armed robbers broke into his house and he had to kill them in self-defense. He never said a word about the stolen money or Rocky. The sisters leave the station, get on the train, and drive off toward a happy future. You were on the channel on Recap Roman. Don't forget to subscribe and put a like to not miss new videos.